G'day YouTube, welcome back to Music Video Muster, the channel where we believe that music is better on DVD. Today I'm so excited to share with you my collection of a band that I have really been getting into lately. The band is called Opeth and here is my collection from least to most expensive. Let's go. Welcome back to Music Video Muster. Before we get into this video, could I please ask you to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. It really helps me to make more videos like this and to share my collection and my advice and information with you. So today I'm talking about the progressive metal and black metal band known as Opeth. I first heard Opeth back in the 90s one of my friends from school had a CD and he played a song for me but I really wasn't impressed at that time because I couldn't get past the vocals. There was a lot of low screaming and although I was into new metal, I didn't really like the kind of death metal cookie monster voice growling. At that time my preconception was that any band that sings like this doesn't have great musical talent and they are using the screaming as a way to mask their inability to sing properly. And so for many years, decades even, I dismissed Opeth as a talentless death metal band. I couldn't have been more wrong. Opeth are supremely talented and every single song that they have ever put out is just epic. To be fair, I only really got into Opeth this year. I purchased Blackwater Park in May this year and it didn't take me long to get hooked on Opeth. By late August I had collected almost everything that they've ever put out and I'm going to show you those items in this video today. I'm going to rank them by how much money I paid for each item. Okay so first up the cheapest item that I have in my Opeth collection is Lamentations and this is a live concert DVD. It takes a lot of its tracks from the Deliverance and Damnation era. So there's a lot of progressive sound coming in at this point. Not quite the jazz fusion era yet, but a good mixture of heavy, hard rock and the more soft progressive style that Opeth is known for. Speak to me now. I got this DVD on Discogs for $10 including postage which I thought was an amazing deal. If you're fairly new to Opeth I do encourage you to check this out. This is a really great doorway to Opeth. I can't recommend it highly enough. Okay next up we have three items all priced exactly the same. I got each of these items for $15 including postage and we have two studio albums and one live DVD. So the studio albums that I have here in my hands is Watershed. This is a really, really incredible album. This special edition of Watershed includes a surround sound DVD, which is the main reason that I got it. My favorite track on Watershed is The Lotus Eater. It starts out really, really heavy and it's got this incredible middle section with a syncopated organ riff, which is so addictive, honestly. You'll want to listen to it again and again. Another studio album that I picked up for $15, which also includes the 5.1 surround sound mix is Heritage and this one in fact has a special cover. This is a really really impressive album. At first I didn't like it that much but now I've grown to like it more. Musically it's very complex and it is a really good album but I wouldn't recommend this as your first Opeth album to listen to. If you're new to the band, I would stick with something like Blackwater Park. If you can pick it up for under $20, then that's a great deal. You should go ahead and get it anyway. And the third item that I have in the $15 category is the Roundhouse Tapes. 
Now this is a very impressive set list. It's really heavy and hard hitting. It takes tracks from Blackwater Park and Ghost Reveries and even some of their earlier stuff. I highly recommend this concert. I think you're gonna love it. Next up on the list, for $28, I got Pale Communion. This is a special edition with a surround sound Blu-ray disc included with the CD. Pale Communion is not my favorite Opeth album. It does have some nice tracks on it, like Cusp of Eternity. Although I don't play the album all that much, that doesn't mean I don't like it. It's a fantastic album, and especially if you can get this edition with the surround sound Blu-ray, then I highly recommend that you give this a listen. Especially if you can pick it up for under $30 like I did. Next up, for $29, including postage, I got this one. This is Opeth Live at the Royal Albert Hall. It is a two DVD concert. The first disc is Blackwater Park played in its entirety live. The second disc has a total of eight live tracks. The first one comes from Orchid, and that is Forest of October. And the last one is The Lotus Eater from Watershed. And this concert also has some bonus interviews and a documentary too. So you should get a copy of this one, especially if you love Blackwater Park, because you get that whole album played live. And as I mentioned, disc two is also fantastic. So pick yourself up a copy of Live at the Royal Albert Hall. All right, this next one cost me $30.92 from eBay. Got it from an Australian seller and it's in perfect mint condition. This is still life. And I would have to say that this is easily my second favorite, if not my favorite album out of all of the studio albums that Opeth has ever released. We have a CD and a surround sound DVD in the one package. I absolutely adore this album. And if you are new to Opeth or if you've never heard Opeth before, I strongly recommend this as a doorway album into the band. If you like hard progressive rock and metal along the lines of Porcupine Tree, Dream Theater, even Tool, then I think you're going to love Still Life by Opeth. Check it out. Next up on my list for $30.95, I got this one from a bricks and mortar store in my local area, Garden of the Titans. Now this concert is recorded at the Red Rocks Amphitheater in Colorado, I believe it is, and it is an awesome concert. This concert comes from the era of the album Sorceress, which is also a great album, and I'll get to that in a moment. But it does have more of that progressive and jazzy style that Opeth is known for in their later years. There are also a few heavy tracks on the set list. I would recommend this to people who are already fans of Opeth and their later works. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it as the first concert DVD to buy from this band. Okay, the next item on my list for $31.86 is The Last Will and Testament. Okay, I'm not actually holding anything here. I have pre-ordered it and I haven't received it yet. It's going to be released sometime in October. It's a standalone CD and surround sound Blu-ray digipack, which I am super excited about and I can't wait to listen to it. And as you may have already seen on YouTube or in other places on the internet, the Death Growls are back for this album. So I'm super excited, I'm pumped. Okay, next item for $39.99, I got Ghost Reveries. This album was a lot harder to find 
comparatively speaking, than the rest of them. Ghost Reveries is the album that came out after Damnation and before Watershed. So it is very similar to Watershed in its sound, a combination of heavy and progressive. I think that this is a much harder hitting and heavy album than its predecessors. There are no bad tracks on this album, but I particularly like Bang of the Hounds, which is track two. The good thing about this version is that it has the 5.1 surround sound DVD. So if you haven't heard this album in surround sound yet, then you're missing out. You really need to find a copy of Ghost Reveries in surround. Next up, for $44.40, I have a kind of a three-in-one. This is a recent addition to my collection and it's not a DVD or a Blu-ray. This is a triple CD set and it's called The Candlelight Years. Now I don't really collect CDs unless they have a DVD or Blu-ray disc with them, but these ones from The Candlelight Record Years were not released with any surround sound mix so that's why if you want it you just have to get the cd or lp version we get three cds in one box starting with their very first album orchid from i think it was 1996 i believe and then there's morning rise and my arms your hearse of the three albums orchid is my least favorite production in orchid is not quite as good as the other two and also the songs are just not quite as compelling. My favorite album from this trilogy is My Arms Your Hearse which is very similar to Still Life in some ways which is really understandable being the immediate predecessor to Still Life. I would recommend the three CD candlelight set for any fan of black metal and death metal. But if you are a fan of black metal and death metal, then you don't need this recommendation because I think you already love these albums. If you're just starting to get into Opeth and you really like the heavier side of things, then you might want to check out The Candlelight Years. Next up, Blackwater Park, $50, bargain, because this is not just any version of Blackwater Park. This is the limited edition version with the surround sound DVD. Blackwater Park is Opeth's magnum opus. It's cited often as their greatest achievement, their greatest studio album. And I think that I agree with that. Although Still Life and Blackwater Park for me are very much on a par. This was the first album that I experienced and it didn't take long for me to become completely addicted to the band. And like I said, within the space of a few months, I had collected everything that I could get my hands on by this band. This is the first album where Opeth collaborated with Stephen Wilson from Porcupine Tree. He helped to produce this album and he brought more of a progressive flavor to the music. This edition with the surround sound DVD is quite rare, so be prepared to pay a little bit more for it. Thousands of fans around the world believe that this is the best Opeth album, so you should hear it for yourself. All right, so the next item on my list is a very special one. This one cost me $51 Australian, and I was very lucky to get it because it is part of a bigger, and more expensive set. But luckily I was able to get just what I wanted, which is the Blu-ray surround sound version. And this is In Cowder Venenum. In Cowder Venenum came out in 2019. This is a very progressive album, but you can hear the rock sound coming back. You can hear there is a bit more of a heavier edge to it. If you want this, which is the surround sound Blu-ray, you'll need to buy the super deluxe 
box set and it is not cheap, let me tell you. But if you're a diehard Opeth fan, then your collection probably won't feel complete until you have this one. Anyway, it's a great album. I highly encourage you to give it a listen, even if you don't manage to get the surround sound disc. Okay guys, there are just two items left on my Opeth list. And now we're starting to move into some expensive territory. This one cost me $88.22 and it was the very first item actually in my whole collection that I got from Japan. And this album is Sorceress and it's the Japanese edition. Now the reason I got the Japanese edition is because the Japanese edition has the surround sound DVD included as part of it. There's the proof that it is the Japanese release, the also important Obi Strip. It's not my favourite Opeth album. I personally much prefer Opeth's heavier stuff to their progressive stuff, but I really love this album. So overall, this is a quality album. And it's definitely something that I think you will enjoy. Would I recommend this album, Sorceress, as your first Opeth album? I think that if you're a fan of British 70s progressive and psychedelic rock, then this may be a gateway to Opeth for you. If, like me, your background is more heavy metal and new metal, then I wouldn't start with this particular record. Being a limited edition release, you can expect to cough up a bit of money for this item, but have a look and shop around and do your research and you just might be able to pick up a copy for under a hundred dollars like I did. Hey guys, thank you so much for sticking with me until now. I have one more item to share with you and this is easily the most expensive and the most valuable item that I have in my Opeth collection. This one cost me $221.22. It came all the way from Germany and it is the special edition of Deliverance and Damnation. It's a four disc set, two CDs and two surround sound DVDs. The surround mix for Deliverance, which is the heavy album, is done by Bruce Sword from The Pineapple Thief and the surround sound mix for Damnation, which is the more progressive one, is done by Stephen Wilson of Porcupine Tree. If you're not fully sold on Opeth, but you are a Porcupine Tree fan, then I think Damnation is the record that's going to do it for you, and I guarantee that you will be converted as fast as I was. This is such a beautiful release. The two albums, Deliverance and Damnation, were released separately, but according to what I've read online, Opeth's original intention was for the two albums to be released at the same time as a kind of double album, and that's what you get with this special edition. Honestly, I like the Damnation record better. There's nothing wrong with the Deliverance record. It's great, it's heavy, and it's got some nice tracks on it, but it does sound quite similar to some of their other heavy releases. But in the Damnation record, you can definitely hear that they've taken a more progressive turn. Might be staring directly at me. If you are looking for a copy of this item, do be patient. Uh, but I know that there are copies out there. The price will vary a lot depending on the condition of the item and the market demand, but if you're patient, I'm sure that you will be able to find a copy soon. Is this item worth the 200 odd dollars that I paid for it? I think yes, but only for diehard Opeth fans and collectors and surround sound enthusiasts. Okay, that's it guys. Thanks so much for watching to the end. I hope you liked the video and the content. Please like and subscribe and comment below. What is your favorite Opeth release? Let's talk about Opeth. In the meantime, take care and I'll see you in the next video.